In the first part, we saw details regarding Hazrat Mahdi's salam, birth, name, line of descent, age, and general appearance. In this film, we shall be looking at features on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, face and body that allow him to be recognized and have been given in astonishing detail. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, face is very beautiful, bright as pearl and luminous. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a beautiful young man with a beautiful face. The light of his face rises to his head and the blackness of his hair. He is beautiful of face. The light of his countenance bestows grandeur on him. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a young man with a beautiful face. The light of his face shines like day over the blackness of his hair, beard and head and gives him grandeur. It is related from Humran bin Ayan that Imam Muhammad Bakir salam, was told his Hazrat Mahdi's salam, face will be beautiful. Imam Hussain salam, is reported as saying when Hazrat Mahdi salam, appears People will not recognize him. Then he, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will come, having a beautiful visage. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a temperate young man with a beautiful face. Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a man of 40 from my line. His face is like a star shining in the heavens. Hazrat Mahdi salam, is an individual from my line. His face is like the pearl star. His Hazrat Mahdi's Alaihissalam face is radiant like a shining star. This information in the Hadith about the beauty and brightness of Hazrat Mahdi's Alaihissalam face bears a close similarity to the Prophet Joseph Alaihissalam. As we know, our Prophet peace be upon him says in the Hadith, there will be similarities between the lives of Hazrat Mahdi Alaihissalam and the Prophet Joseph Alaihissalam. Muhammad Bakr said. The owner of this task, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a resemblance to the Prophet Joseph salam. Just like the Prophet Joseph salam, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a beautiful and radiant face that has a profound impact on people and inspires great admiration. The beauty of the Prophet Joseph salam, is revealed as follows in the Quran. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. When they saw him, they were amazed by him and cut their hands. They said, Allah preserve us, this is no man. What can this be but a noble angel here? Hazrat Mahdi has a peaceful and calming countenance. Another characteristic of Hazrat Mahdi salam, is how, with his lofty moral virtues, depth, powerful personality, and the perfection of his behavior, all stemming from faith, he inspires calm and trust in people around him. This important characteristic is also reflected in his face. Just by looking at his face, people will be able to see Hazrat Mahdi salam, profound faith in the submission to Allah. Under the effect of this faith-inspired calm reflected in his face, everyone will find peace with him. This attribute of Hazrat Mahdi salam, is described in this hadith. The prominent and acknowledged poet Aga Sa'id Hassan has thus mentioned about his eminence Hazrat Mahdi salam. The elegance came up, arose through his clear face. The morning breeze spread from his calming countenance.
Hazrat Mahdi's Islam's skin is very beautiful and bright. Many hadiths reveal that Hazrat Mahdi Islam will appear to be aged around 40, will have very bright, beautiful and healthy skin. The color of his face is described variously as shining like a gold bronze coin, so bright that it is almost impossible to recognize the real color. According to the information in the Hadith, Hazrat Mahdi's face will sometimes be sun-tanned, bright and dark in color, and at others light, Arab in color, in other words a reddish white, and still bright. His Hazamadi's Alaihissalam face is sometimes light in color and bright as gold, and sometimes dark in color and bright like the moon. His Hazamadi's Alaihissalam complexion is very bright. Hazamadi's Alaihissalam hair is black. According to the accounts narrated by Abu Abdullah Nu'aim ibn Hamad from Abu Jafar ibn Muhammad ibn Ali al-Bakir. Hazrat Ali salam, was asked of the characteristics of Hazrat Mahdi salam, and he answered as follows. The light of his Hazrat Mahdi salam, face rises to his head and the blackness of his hair. He Hazrat Mahdi salam, has black hair. The light of his Hazrat Mahdi salam, face shines like day over the blackness of his hair, beard and head and gives him grandeur. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, hair is thick and strikingly beautiful. Hazrat Mahdi salam, will attract people's attention by the thickness and beauty of his hair as well as by his bodily majesty and the loveliness of his face. The hadiths reveal this feature of Hazrat Mahdi's salam, hair thus. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, has thick hair. Al Kirmani al Damashi, 1019, a famous Sunni scholar, writes in his Akbar al Duwal He, Hazrat Mahdi, salam, will be of medium height, with a beautiful face and hair. Abdul Malik al Isami is a well known historian residing in Mecca. In his four-volume work of history known as Simt al-Nujum al-Awli, he says, He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a temperate young man with a beautiful face and hair, a fine nose and broad face. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a broad face. The Hadith describe how Hazrat Mahdi's Alaihissalam whole body is very broad and splendid. In parallel to these details provided about his body, the Hadith also say that Hazrat Mahdi's Alaihissalam face is also broad. He, Hazrat Mahdi Alaihissalam, is a temperate young man with a beautiful face and hair, a fine nose, and broad face. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a clear, wide brow. The Hadiths state that Hazrat Mahdi's salam, whole body and face will be broad and will also have a wide brow. All these details about his face and forehead show that, like the holy head of our Prophet peace be upon him, Hazrat Mahdi's salam, head will also be large. Some of the hadiths referring to the width of Hazrat Mahdi's salam, brow are as follows. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a majestic individual with a broad brow. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has descended from me. His brow will be broad. He will have a broad brow. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is broad of brow. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a clear brow. Allah will send a son of my line, Hazrat Mahdi salam, with a clear brow, who will fill earth with justice and distribute goods and property in abundance. 
Certain it is that Allah will send a person, Hazrat Mahdi salam, from my line with a clear brow. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a clear brow. His Hazrat Mahdi's salam, brow is wide. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, forehead is bright. The hadith describe Hazrat Mahdi salam, as having a very bright and beautiful skin, and as a reflection of this characteristic, his brow will also be bright and striking. Abu Sa'id al Khudri narrates from the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, that he said, Indeed, Almighty Allah will raise from my progeny and Al al Bayt a man who would have a bright forehead so that he may fill the earth with justice, welfare, and economic equality. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a slight concavity on his forehead. The hadith notes the presence of a small concavity on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, broad forehead. His Hazrat Mahdi's salam, hair is thick, his forehead is broad, and there is a slight concavity on his forehead. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a mole on his forehead. Abu Bashir says, Imam Muhammad Bakhir salam, or Jafar Sadiq salam, said, there are two signs of the Qa'im, Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam. There will be a mole and a mark on the head. Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam has a mark, scar on his forehead. Other hadith report that there will be a mark on Hazrat Mahdi's alayhi salam brow. Umran bin Ayyan quotes Imam Muhammad Bakhir alayhi salam that he said, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a mark on his forehead and his face will be beautiful. Abu Bashir says Imam Muhammad Bakir salam, or Jafar Sadiq salam, said, There are two signs of the Qa'im, Hazrat Mahdi. Salam. There will be a mole and a mark on the head. This mark on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, brow is probably a scar. In addition, the use of the word mark in the hadiths instead of a mole suggests that the mark will be lighter in color than a mole. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, eyebrows are curved. One of the characteristics that will identify Hazrat Mahdi salam, to people is that his eyebrows are curved. His Hazrat Mahdi's alayhi salam, eyebrows are curved. Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam, has a dip between his eyebrows. In this hadith narrated from our Prophet peace be upon him, it is said that Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam, will have a natural dip in the form of a single line between his eyebrows. Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a small tip between his eyebrows. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has slanted eyes. Another of the astonishing details about Hazrat Mahdi's salam, face provided in the hadiths is that he has slanted eyes. Umran bin Ayyan says, I asked Imam Muhammad Bakir salam, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have slanted eyes. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has green eyes. Hadith transmitted from our Prophet peace be upon him provided important information about Hazrat Mahdi salam, external appearance. According to the hadiths concerning Hazrat Mahdi salam, he will have green eyes. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is a young man with green eyes. Hazrat Mahdi's salam, nose is handsome and thin. 
Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has informed us in the Hadith about the beauty of Hasan Mahdi's face. One feature of the beauty of his face is that he has a small, fine, and thin nose. He, Hasan Mahdi, will have a broad brow. His nose will be thin. He, Hasan Mahdi, is someone with a small nose. He, Hasan Mahdi, is a temperate young man with a beautiful face and hair, a fine nose and broad face. According to Abu Sa'id al Qudri's radiallahu anhu account, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Hazrat Mahdi salam, is from my line. He will have a clear brow and a fine nose. His Hazrat Mahdi's salam, nose is small. According to what Imam Abu Ya'ala and Al Diya al Makdisi narrate in Al Muhtara from Abu Sa'id, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The judgment day will not take place until someone from my Al Al Bayt, with straight hair, a clear brow, and a flawless nose, fills the world that was filled with oppression before him with justice instead. There is a slight protrusion on the center of Azat Mahdi's salam, nose. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, has reported that Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a slight protrusion on the center of his nose. His Hazrat Mahdi's salam, hair is thick, his forehead is broad, and there is a slight concavity on his forehead. His nose is small and there is a very small protrusion right on the bridge. There is a mole on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, cheek. One of the very detailed pieces of information about Hazrat Mahdi's salam, face in the Hadith is that he will have a mole on his cheek. It appears from the accounts that the mole on his cheek will resemble a pearl and be as bright as a star, in other words, very light in color. There is a mark on his as a Mahdi's salam, cheek, reminiscent of a pearl illuminating his face like a star. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a thick beard, bright front teeth, a mole on his face, and a broad forehead. He, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a mole on his face. There is a mole on his as a Mahdi's salam, face. The presence on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, cheek of a sign enlightening the face like a star reminiscent of a pearl, has been reported in the Hadiths. Not only the word mole is used for this feature of Hazrat Mahdi salam, as all the features of this mole have been described, terms such as reminiscent of a pearl, like a star, and illuminating provide a great detail about its shape and color. All this information shows that this mole is the color of skin and not dark. The mole on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, cheek protrudes from it. It is also reported in the Hadith that the mole on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, cheek protrudes from it. His Hazrat Mahdi's salam, hair is thick, his forehead is broad, and there is a slight concavity on his forehead. His nose is small, and there is a very small protrusion right on the bridge. A small mole protrudes on his cheek. The mole on Hazrat Mahdi's salam, cheek resembles that of the Prophet Moses. Salam. The Hadith notes that the Prophet Moses salam, had a similar mole on his cheek to the light colored one on the cheek of Hazrat Mahdi. Salam. Hazrat Mahdi salam, descended from our Prophet peace be upon him, and comes from the same line as all the Prophets. Allah has used this blood bond to create similarities between the other Prophets and Hazrat Mahdi salam. The similarities between the mole on the face of Hazrat Mahdi salam, and that of the Prophet Moses salam, is described thus in the Hadiths. 
As with the Prophet Moses السلام, the mole on his Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, cheek will protrude slightly and be bright like a star. Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard is black. Another piece of information that identifies Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, face is that, like his hair, his beard is black. He, Hazrat Mahdi السلام, has black hair. His beard is black. Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard is copious and thick. Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard is strikingly attractive and thick. His Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard is thick. The light of his Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, face shines like day over the blackness of his hair, beard, and head, and gives him grandeur. Hazrat Mahdi السلام, has a thick beard. His Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard will be copious and thick. Hazrat Mahdi السلام, has a light beard. Thin at the sides and long at the front. One of the details our Prophet peace be upon him supplies about Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, appearance is to do with his beard. Our Prophet peace be upon him has said in several hadiths that Hazrat Mahdi السلام, will be bearded, and in this hadith he provides detail about the shape of that beard. He says that the texture of his beard will be light and that the sides will be thinned down the cheeks, while the lower part is long. He, Hazrat Mahdi السلام, is a young man, beardless toward the right cheek. Hazrat Mahdi السلام, is a man, maktum, with a light cut beard, and kosaj, with a beard fewer in the sides, long at the front. With the term maktum meaning beard longer when compared to the sides but shaped. The shape of Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard is understood and with the term kausaj, it is understood that his beard is thin down the sides and also thin textured. At the same time with the term kausaj mentioned in the hadith, it is understood that Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, beard will not be with coarse tough hair but with thin hair, just like our Prophet's peace be upon him. Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, teeth are very bright. One of the distinguishing features of our Prophet peace be upon him was the brightness of his teeth. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him was very handsome and attractive. His holy face shone like the full moon on the 14th of the month. His teeth were as bright as pearls. The hadiths note the brightness of Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, teeth, like those of our Prophet peace be upon him. Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, teeth are bright. In another hadith, Hazrat Ali السلام, again mentions about Imam Mahdi السلام, in the following words. His front teeth are bright. His, Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, teeth will be bright. Hazrat Mahdi السلام, has a thick beard, bright front teeth. There are two moles on Hazrat Mahdi's السلام, body, both the same color as those of our Prophet peace be upon him. Other information about Hazrat Mahdi السلام, imparted by our Prophet peace be upon him is that he will have two separate moles, both the same color as those of the Prophet peace be upon him. His eminence Abu Jafar, Imam Muhammad Bakir السلام, through his forefathers has narrated from the chief of Al-Bayt, his eminence, 
commander of the believers alayhi salam, that his eminence proclaimed from the pulpit, in the last age, a man from my progeny, Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam, would rise, and he would have two beauty spots, the color of the Prophet. He shall rise up. Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam has the seal of the prophethood on his shoulder. Those accounts that describe the appearance of our Prophet peace be upon him speak of a sign on his back between his shoulders. In Islamic reference sources and accounts, this sign between the Prophet's peace be upon him shoulders is known as the seal of prophethood. It is related by Al-Mustadrak from Wahab ibn Munabi radiallahu anhu that other prophets have had a mark of prophethood similar to that of our Prophet peace be upon him, but that his is different. Allah has sent no prophet without his having the mole, mark of prophethood, on his right hand. But our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him represents an exception, because his mark of prophethood is between his shoulder blades, not on his right hand. When our Prophet peace be upon him was asked about this, he said, This mark between my shoulder blades is like that of the prophets before me. Some of the accounts describing our Prophet's peace be upon him mark of prophethood are as follows. Jabir ibn Samura radiallahu anhu relates, I saw the seal of prophethood between the messenger of Allah's peace be upon him shoulder blades. Abu al Sa'ib bin Yazid relates, My eye saw the seal of the Prophet, peace be upon him, between his shoulders. Ibrahim bin Muhammad, one of the grandsons of Hazrat Ali, relates, In describing the characteristics of our Prophet, peace be upon him, my grandfather Hazrat Ali would relate all the hadiths about the physical appearance of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him at length and say, There was the seal of prophethood between his shoulder blades and he is the last of the prophets. We are also told in the hadiths that like the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have this clear sign, the seal of prophethood. Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have the sign of prophethood on his shoulder, as the Prophet peace be upon him did. The sign of the Prophet peace be upon him is on his, Hazrat Mahdi salam, shoulder. The mark of the Prophet peace be upon him is on his, Hazrat Mahdi salam, shoulder. The seal is dark in color and covers the surface. In addition, this mark on Hazrat Mahdi salam, back is fully described in terms of location by giving a certain measure. The way the hadith described as Ahmadis as having the seal of prophethood of our Prophet peace be upon him on his shoulder shows that Hazamati will also have a dark wide mark at the level of the heart on his left shoulder blade. Hazrat Mahdi has another mole shaped like a leaf on his shoulder blade. Another hadith refers to a second mark on Hazrat Mahdi's salam back. Abu Bashir says, Imam Muhammad Baqir salam or Jafar Sadiq salam said, There is a leaf below and to the left of his Hazrat Mahdi's salam left shoulder blade, just like the leaf of the myrtle. The hadith provides detailed information about the location of the smul on the back of Hazrat Mahdi salam, that it is between his shoulder blades, below and to the left of his left shoulder. And this mark is described as resembling a myrtle leaf. The comparison with the leaf here suggests that the mole will resemble a tree leaf with distinct edges and raised above the level of the skin and that it will be the color of a faded leaf, in other words, a yellowish or skin tone. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a black mark on his right leg. 
In one hadith, our Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a black mark on his right leg. In the hadith, our Prophet, peace be upon him, does not just speak of a mark, but provides distinctive detail saying it will be black and on his right leg. Hazrat Mahdi salam, will have a black mark on his right leg. Hazrat Mahdi salam, has a mole on his right thigh. In another hadith, Hazrat Ali salam, again mentions about Imam Mahdi salam, in the following words. He shall have a mole on his right thigh. Hazrat Mahdi salam, will come in this century and all people will know him from the signs in the hadiths. The information about Hazrat Mahdi salam, in the hadiths is highly detailed. Our Prophet peace be upon him provides no such detailed description of anyone else in the hadiths. The fact that such detailed information about Hazrat Mahdi salam, physical appearance is provided as well as about his life is a most important sign for Muslims awaiting Hazrat Mahdi salam, with great love and wishing to recognize him and also a most exciting blessing. The fact that the Hadiths tell us that Hazrat Mahdi salam, will assume the spiritual leadership of all Muslims, that he will be instrumental in uniting the whole Islamic world, that he will cause Islamic morality to rule the world by neutralizing all ideologies based on irreligion that he will come together with the Prophet Jesus salam, and act as his Imam in the prayers, that he will be instrumental in the whole Christian world converting to Islam, and that he will intellectually neutralize the Dajjal together with the Prophet Jesus salam, as well as giving us all the other signs and the details of his physical appearance will leave no doubt as to Hazrat Mahdi's salam, identity when, by Allah's leave, he finally appears. Allah knows the truth. In the wake of that, and under the leadership of the Prophet Jesus salam, and Hazrat Mahdi salam, the whole world will attain the peace, calm and happiness that has been so longed for ever since the age of bliss. And the golden age in which all these joys come about will take place, inshallah in the century in which we are living. There are many verses in the Qur'an indicating the end times and that the moral values of the Qur'an will prevail across the world. In Surat Asaf, our Lord reveals that the believers will certainly succeed. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. They desire to extinguish Allah's light with their mouths, but Allah will perfect his light, though the unbelievers hate it. It is he who sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth, to exalt it over every other religion, though the associators hate it.